Well, here we are at Pemaquid Lighthouse in New Harbor, Maine. Very beautiful, exciting spot. So I was down on the rocks here. I saw this beautiful view and took some photos and this small video. And I thought we would paint it this morning. So sketch it out and here we go. Uh, the sky is very dark. I want to put in, uh, I'm going to start with a wash of raw sienna and, and Quinn Rose. Get that nice deep orange feeling and then some ultramarine blue on top of that. Bring it down to the water line. Just paint right over those heavy rocks on the left. Don't worry about it. All right, the ocean, uh, usual colors, a mix of ultramarine blue and phthalo blue and a touch of cadmium red. The paint right down to that big rock. You know, normally I would paint over that, but I want to leave some light on it. The surf itself, I'm using a little phthalo green and I'm spattering here with that, that same blue color, just mixing it in. Just want to get some movement down there in the surf, so try to leave some white there. That's why I spatter, because when you spatter, you know, you get these nice shapes and you can leave, uh, leave some white in there. All right, I'm using a towel to uh, push up on that sharp edge so I can get a sense of splash there over the rocks. Okay, all right, what I'm doing here is I'm just, there's some beautiful reflective pools there on the rocks and I'm just trying to, I try to paint those in first because if I don't, I always paint over them. So I'm just putting them in uh, so I'll remember to keep them there as we paint those rocks. All right, so those are little reflective pools. All that, all those rocks are just soaking wet with water, so they're very, very wet and reflective. All right, I'm not happy with the sky. You may not have to do this, but I'm going back and putting another coat of ultramarine on the sky. I kept it a little light on the bottom to keep a little bit of a cloud look up there, as you can see. All right, bring it down. Try to leave some water, uh, whites out there, some movement out on the ocean. All right, we're going to do these big rocks, uh, that big rock in the front there, and I'm starting with some raw sienna. Rocks are always warm and cool, as you know, so uh, I'm using raw sienna and some cobalt blue, and just going, just painting the whole shape to begin with, trying to leave a little bit of a halo effect on the top, to, just to keep the light on it. I'll go back for that. Uh, I'll go back and cover that. All right, so. Little, that's cobalt blue, it doesn't look it, but it's mixed with the raw sienna. So I'm trying to keep a nice look. All right, going a little darker here on the top. And I'm, what I'm doing is painting, sort of painting around the big shapes of the rocks to give it a look. You know, we're right on top of this rock, so you do see some detail and uh, trying to keep it you want to try to keep this rock cool and light uh, I'm actually a little darker than I want to be but I'm gonna uh, use my credit card and scrape down so I can get some texture on the rock so study out the photo and look at the shapes of those big rocks try to keep a little bit of light on it here and there Just paint all the cracks and crevices that you like, that you want to paint. Okay. Give it a little form. And right, I'm just scumbling here with a fairly dry brush. It's just damp with some dark color on it. To, um, you know, get some of the effect of that, that the nooks and crannies on the rock. All right, so that's that's pretty dark, but I'm going to lift that off, give it a nice spray. All right, let's get into this big rock in the front. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because this is a, a big rock and it's it's uh, you know it takes a little while to paint it, and I don't think you want to watch me do every stroke. But you can see what I'm doing here. Very dark up there. It's not getting any light. This is 
up under under the rock very dark and it gets cooler and lighter as it comes out from under there uh, so you can see this is more of a violet ultramarine with rose and raw sienna painting around that uh, little pool of water that's sitting there have fun with this this is this is a wonderful scene it's a great really nice nice uh, exciting uh, spots of paint really beautiful all right i covered it with the violet a little cooler and lighter on the right side because it's not getting that shadow I'm using my credit card here to squeegee out the paint leaving the texture of the paper you've seen me do this a hundred times and when it sets up i'm going to go in and paint the dark crevices and crannies and all that stuff that you see there so you can see how beautiful this dark shape comes forward so you could you could actually put some red in that you know if you wanted to up under that dark uh, I didn't do it here, but I will be painting this again, I'm sure. I love this scene. Just going in with a dark, put, putting all those cracks and crevices in there. This, you know, they're sort of vertical because they're going out towards the, you know, towards the ocean. But they're also, uh, you also have to do a lot of uh, horizontal shapes here to create that to sit it down if you're just going uh, in the vertical sense you the thing will be shooting up all right so have all your strokes go vertical but put in the horizontals uh, that will sit this whole thing down for you nicely okay you can see that one one little stroke of the horizontal crack really helps to sit it down all right, so you can see it's a fairly easy painting to do. It's just, it's very, uh, very dynamic, exciting. By uh, using a little phthalo green here to go in and uh, put another layer, some movement. We need a lot of movement in there because that's really pounding and, you know, really giving us a, a lot of motion in that water. We want to, we want to do that. So I'm just doing it with another layer of uh, phthalo green, very light, and then I'm spattering some some water here. Uh, I'm just gonna, you've seen me do this many times, especially on that back rock, to show some movement, you know, show some, some action, some stuff going on out there. You can't do enough of this, so just keep doing it until you're happy. All right, okay, I hope you like this. This is wonderful, very dynamic painting. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you again very soon.